You may be surprised to hear when I say this, but uh, it's been almost 2,000 days. That's not a joke. 2,000 days since the last major TF2 update. That's almost six years. So much has happened in that time span, man. Six Call of Duty games were released. We went through an entire pandemic. We've coped. We ranted. We raged. We might have destroyed a few things out of anger here and there, but it has finally happened. There will be a new TF2 update this summer. That is not a joke or some crazy conspiracy theory, all right? This is real. This is really really real if you go to tf2.com right now and check the block section you see this it is true your eyes are not deceiving you it's finally going to happen it reads as follows uh, the, the the first three sentences are kind of whatever but the four says uh, the last few team fortress summer events have only been item updates but this year we're planning on shipping a full-on update sized update with items maps taunts unusual effects war paints and who knows what else which means we need steam workshop content your steam workshop content so get to work make sure to get your submission into the steam workshop by may 1st blah 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 it's happening a tf2 update is coming can you believe it valve is actually going to do something with their little cringe money printer that they stuffed into their closet i've been waiting for ages for this man i i freaking love tf2 i've played it since like what like 2013 on my crappy little computer where i played it at like 25 fps i made two whole ass chunky videos about it one where i complimented the living hell out of it and one where i just bullied it to bits kind of just took a big stinky doo-doo on top of it well uh, let's be honest multiple stinky big doo-doos on top of it and i've just been waiting man like uh, for multiple years already i i just lost all hope because man valve is just so atrocious at communicating to the point where it's just annoying this isn't a silk song situation where you can't really blame Team Cherry for not communicating because they don't really have to. They don't owe you anything. Valve, on the other hand, has a product that gets used and abused and it did nothing with it. The game was literally infested with bots for years and it only dimmed down because of a bunch of annoying screaming on Twitter, which is just pathetic. Straight up. They made like this tweet of, we hear you and things are going to get better and then they kind of didn't get better. Uh, from what I've heard, they hired a contractor after this and he was just like patching up things slowly but surely and apparently it worked but the last time I checked there were still bots everywhere maybe I was just unlucky because a lot of people were telling me that it is a lot better now but come on th this shouldn't be a problem to begin with this crap just got memed to the ground by everyone because of just how stupid it was now hopefully all of that is in the past hopefully we can turn a new leaf work towards a better TF2 I think it's also really important to keep your expectations in check. Don't think that this is going to be this gigantic thing where they introduce 20 new weapons and 200 new cosmetics, 12 maps, a bunch of weapon balancing. Seriously, keep your expectations in line so you don't get disappointed. I know that the TF2 community is filled with extremely talented and amazing people. I've met some great, absolutely fantastic people over the years. So what I personally would really like to see is great teamwork we should show valve that we can take over the torch that more of this can happen in the future if i recall correctly the invasion update was an absolute mess behind the scenes when it comes to well uh, basically everything and it made valve not want to do another big community update anymore i think this has happened before with the robotic boogaloo updates like please correct me if i'm wrong on that but i, I want this game to thrive so so badly to i want i want this game to be successful and we have a golden opportunity right now work together make something absolutely amazing and try to keep fighting to a minimum i like i really don't want to come over as the tf2 like spokespersons but i, I want the best for this game I really do. This is a community that gets excited when we figure out that the scout's pants have been the wrong color 
for years. We get excited when a little baby snake gets added to a map. A community that had such a big impact on internet culture, memes, animation, art, etc, etc. There's no other game like TF2, okay? Sure, there are some crappy elements to it, but the core of it is so pure and god I'm just excited. I am super excited that we're finally getting something. So yeah, th that's about it. When I saw this news, I just immediately started working on this video. Can you hear that I'm excited? I am so extremely happy and just full of joy. The best shooter ever created is finally back from the dead to give the living haircut. And again, I'm excited. I'm excited what the TF2 community has in store. Like, I am so hopeful for something great. Please don't mess it up, Val.